Hey guys, welcome back to JR14. Here I am with another video for you guys today. Now, as you guys can see, I am clearly in the daily driver Honda Accord. There's a lot of cool things with this car that is coming up. So I actually wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that. So make sure that you already give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on that content. Now, what I'm doing today is I'm actually gonna be changing the head unit on this car again. Now, the only reason why the head unit is fine, but there are some things about this head unit that I don't like. Um, a couple of things is the, um, the AC controls. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't work. Um, another thing is that this radio was also for, the, you know, it also did enable my steering wheel controls for volume and changing the song. But I noticed when I'm in Apple CarPlay, for instance, every time I went to change the next song, change the next song, it would go to the radio station, you know, instead of going to the next song that I had on my Apple CarPlay. Sometimes the volume works, sometimes it doesn't. And this just draws some inconsistencies. There's some glitches within the software. And I know that's probably all software based, but again, it's kind of annoying, but I do have another head unit that I'm gonna be dealing with today. And um, yeah, so without further ado, I'm gonna actually show you guys the head unit and then we're gonna install it in this car. So without further ado, let's get this video started. So with this screen, um, you know, like, so the new radio that we're going to be installing is not going to be one that's similar like this. This new radio is actually going to be installed above the hood here. Now, the cool thing about this is going to be for a couple of reasons. One, um, it I think it may give me a little bit better visibility because sometimes the, the sun hits this in the wrong way and it glares and I can't see anything. Um, other than that, this thing's great. Uh, but I want to kind of see how it is with the nine inch display above here as well as um you know the how like the build quality and everything like that now one thing that this new radio will have versus this one is um it will have wireless apple carplay which is huge for me because um it'll be nice not to have to keep plugging the phone the whole time um and also uh this doesn't charge my phone fast enough um, if my phone is dead, it's pretty much if I'm using Apple CarPlay, which I am 100% of the time, then it's going to be, it's not going to work out pretty good. So what I usually end up doing, I usually just pretty much, um, I have a second charger that charges quickly in the car, and then I'll just sacrifice not using Apple CarPlay for the short period of time until my phone is decently charged. So hopefully I can still use that charger and just utilize this for, you know, USB functional functionality or anything else. Now, this radio will keep the stock radio, which is another plus for me. And the reason why I say I want to do that is because I know the volume controls are going to work. I know that the climate control functions are going to work. Like, for instance, there's some features that I don't use. For instance, uh, I, this out button doesn't do anything. Dual doesn't do anything either because this car has single zone climate control. But um, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to disassemble this radio out and I'm gonna put the stock radio back in. This is not a video to show you how to install this, it's just a video on uh, the product itself. And I'm gonna do just like a quick little time lapse for you guys so that this way you guys can see me take everything apart and put the factory radio which is back in this original box that's in here. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get this done right now. Unfortunately, this is day two, and the reason why it is day two is because this radio install that should have just been plug and play and a couple of components 
that should have just been replaced and easily clip in and out actually just became a lot more difficult. Now, if we look over here, um, this is the unit that we're gonna be putting in the car. Now, if you see here, they don't, so on this head unit right here, they don't include the actual hazard button or the vents. So you actually have to transfer everything from this unit here, for, for this unit here over to, from, from, from your stock one to this one. Now, the reason why they did this, um, I don't know if they realized they know the, that they figured this out or not, but if you install a head unit where it's above on a 2003 to 2007 Accord, um, and you realize that um, it's gonna be the overhead one, which means it's gonna sit on top of the dashboard, you have to ensure that you have to remove a couple of things to transfer it over. One of the things that you're gonna have to transfer if you flip this over is the clips. There's little white clips that go on the edge of these you have to replace those. All the wiring for this is going to go down behind the vent and underneath uh, underneath the stock radio head unit. Um, and now, as you see here, here's all the clips of where you're going to install the new vent. Now, I didn't want to tear mine apart, so I found a local place that sells Accord parts. Um, but the way that this is, you're going to have to do this. These are plastic welded um, onto the onto the vent piece. So these were never, be, they, they, they were never meant to come out, um, but you can get them out. You have to get a drill bit and you have to drill them out and you just have to slightly pry against on them so that this way you can get them out. I bought another one cause I didn't want to break my stock one up. If I wanted to swap the car back to, st to stock, you can find these on, you can find the full um, vent assemblies for 2003 to 2007 Accords anywhere from 20 to 40 bucks. So it's not difficult. It wasn't that much of a problem for me to go ahead and do that. But that is a disclaimer if you're going to install a head unit like that. But I just want to let you guys that know that now. And then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the ending piece uh, with it in th these vents and everything transferred over to the new um, trim piece. All right. So here it is. Here in my, we're still in my apartment after dealing with some stuff. Uh, so I got the, I got these uh, vents out. They still function like they should. They fit in perfectly. Now, uh, one thing I did notice, um, this is the old one here. So I'm gonna put this on top of my stove, which is terrible, but I'm gonna work, clean everything in a minute. So this one has this little hole here, and this one, this one had the same size as this. Now for 2006 to 2007, they added um, a passenger light a passenger off a passenger airbag off light on top of the um, hazards and it's on one button so the 2007 and then the plugs are different so this plug is different from the one that's on a 2007 2006 to 2007 this one specifically is from a 2003 to 2005 and they only came with the hazards in 2006 like i said they did that other button so what i had to do is i had to open this up a little higher so that button will slide in with no problems um also what i had to do um, I had to exchange the vents. Like I told you, I had to take the vents out of this. I wasn't going to do it to the one that's in the car, my OEM one. I'm just going to leave it alone, buy one for 20 bucks and just drill out the, um, plastic welds, which I showed you in the last clip. Now everything works perfectly. And now all we have to do now is install this in the car. So here is the unit like itself right here, like that. And I know it's weird because it's on my counter and this is all the cables and stuff that goes to it right here that's for the radio you have two usb ports and of course you don't have anything for the climate control because you're going to use the stock radio for the climate control but i'm rambling let's get this into the car let's get it back installed and let's show you the functionality of it all right guys so again i'm sorry about the audio my camera's bad so i'm using my gopro here but this is the actual uh radio here and again it is a shore the radio's head a shore what i did was just to ensure this is not a full installation video of this by the way um if you want to know how to install and take this old headed unit out to replace it with another one even something like this because you need to take this out in order to wire everything up and um plug it back up check out my other video where i installed my desea um head unit but for this video um i really do like this head unit for a couple of reasons one my steering wheel controls still work and they actually work. It's not like one thing where it somewhat works and it somewhat doesn't work. Another great thing about this is that with my old radio head unit, the climate control functions just really never worked properly. My rear defroster never worked and um, I was really annoyed by that. But 
I'm actually gonna, if I can find the keys, which I have right here, I'll start up the car and, sorry, here we go. So, it's actually pretty dope to have it up here. I actually like it now. Let me put my driving position up for a second. All right, so this is my driving position. It's kind of far. It is kind of far to like, you know, touch things, but all the buttons are big. So for instance, settings, the first thing that I did was take the beeps off because that was really annoying. Um, and you know, you have the features here. So like for instance, uh, you know, you have your general features here and it has all these different functions for like, you know, mirror view and reverse image and you know, backlight control, things of that nature. Um, this is pretty cool. I do like this a lot. Um, now I will keep these buttons on, especially at night because I will need to see uh, what I'm doing while I'm driving at night. So for instance, power, home, uh, back one, uh, volume up, volume down. Now, the cool thing about this, obviously you have to set up, make sure when you unplug your stock radio to install this, you have your codes for the radio. I do have that. I'm not worried about it at all. I'm not really listening to FM radio anyway, even if I was, and it still works with the factory radio. But one thing, like I said, I really do like, I have my factory air conditioning, everything works. The buttons are doing what they're supposed to do. The rear diffuser, the diffuser, the rear, the fog works. All this stuff works. So to make it hot, it turns into hot. Yep, it's getting hot. Like, so, like, I love the fact that I'm able to keep the OEM style radio. I did like the other one. However, I think up here it looks really cool. It looks like a BMW a little bit. I mean, okay, not a BMW, but you know what I mean? It looks really like a, another level high end. Now, like I explained in the previous video, there are some modifications with this. Make sure when you order this, make sure you tell them what a year Accord you have. It's very important because the 2003, 2005s have a different button for this uh, versus the 2006s and 2007. So I had to Dremel this, so that's why it looks a little janky, but it still does the trick. Everything still works on it. Everything's still plug in place with no problem. Also the vents, you will have to make sure that the vents work as well. Uh, you will have to get another one. You, have, you will have to Dremel out the old vents in order to put the vents in here. And then I use a little bit of super glue to make sure they stay in place, but they still work as if they were factory. So um, you have that as well. Um, now going back to the head unit, um, going back to home, uh, one thing I really do like about this is the fact that I now have wireless CarPlay. So all it is, it's basically linking through Bluetooth. Here's my phone, no wires, and it's gonna go right to, right to my Apple CarPlay right here, which is pretty sick. I absolutely love that. I never thought I would appreciate wireless Apple Car, and it works seamless. I love the fact that it does work seamlessly. Um, you know, my phone's right here. The, the old radio, I plugged it in. Um, it wouldn't charge as quickly, so now I can use my actual charger to charge my phone faster. But then also, sometimes I just don't feel like plugging it in all the time. Maybe I'm going to a short distance, but this does work pretty quickly. It, it took a little lag. It, it, it's a little laggy to connect, but not bad at all. I really do love the fact that this is wireless. Now I can keep my phone in here. I don't have to plug it up to anything, but just in case if you don't want wireless, I did. I don't know if you guys can see that here, but I can use like that, but I did have a USB port that's connected up to this radio just in case if I do want a wired connection. So that's also another positive thing about this radio. And like I was telling you guys before, my radio volume controls still work on my steering wheel. So volume up, volume down, skip song. Um, another thing with my old radio I didn't like was the fact that when you skip song, it would skip sources instead of the song now i tried to fix that so many times here it's pretty seamless of how to do it it's actually not bad at all but for the fact that i have wireless apple carplay in my 2007 honda accord it's absolutely flawless um if you wanted to use their actual features you have your radio functions up here um now i don't know if the radio will work through this or will it work through this i think it works through this because i plugged the antenna back to the factory radio so I do believe that you can actually use your factory radio head unit for FM radio, and you definitely can use it for climate control. Again, uh, if you don't really care for FM radio, but you don't want to deal with it with an interface, you could just download an app. Um, actually, I have it here. Give me a second and I'll show you. Boom, right back to Apple CarPlay, and I have iHeartRadio anyway, so my local radio stations are on my Apple CarPlay anyway. 
Um, it does have navigation, so I, I haven't even looked, looked at this. And you can utilize what source. It is Android-based, so you can utilize the fact that this is going to be for Google. Um, you know, you can use Google, Waze, uh, different different type of features. It also has its own interface for music. Um, again, you have two USB ports. One I also put into the glove box. So it does come with two. One I have routed underneath where my storage bin is. The other one I have routed to the glove compartment just in case I want to plug in a USB thumb drive. You have WhatsApp, um, FAQs, just in case if you have any questions about the head unit or not sure about anything. It does have Spotify. Again, this is an Android-based system. Um, and then, like I said, we went to settings already. And it's pretty cool. Um, it's definitely pretty cool. It's one thing I do really, another thing I really do like about this, it's freaking quick. Look at this. It's very fast. I really do appreciate the fact that this is so quick and it does wonders when it comes down to doing what I needed to do. Car link, boom, back to the Apple CarPlay. Once, once the initial boot up happens, it takes a little, it just takes a little bit, but literally once once you once you're pretty much in the car and you you know you're driving and you go out of the apple carplay and you go back in it it's pretty much seamless but i like it it's great it looks really oem plus in a way you know this is really sturdy on top of here too this is not going anywhere um it was a little fin uh, finicky getting all the wires um you don't want to kink anything you don't want to cut any wires by mistake on any metal bot that's behind here so what i did was i kind of routed the the um the radio wires against this way behind all the plastic and came out here um, and then also the climate control is just a stock um, just a stock plug and it plugs right into the back of the head unit which is right above in the back of this area right here so yeah I mean this is great I really do love the fact that I have Apple CarPlay in here that's wireless so you have your radio here so these are your radio functions so the radio does work through here so once you connect there's like a bridge that connects from this well back from the factory harness to this and then this to the stock radio so this doesn't do anything anymore in terms of your radio functions it's all controlled by the head unit um so like for instance i'll find something to play so your radio functions is done through this tablet up through the display up here um it is a nine inch display by the way but there we go. Volume works perfectly back and forth. So it's been it's been fan it's fantastic. I love this. And then to go home, so I set my mode button for it to go home to switch to switch FM stations. I have my controls here, my volume up and down here. These are my cruise control buttons right here. The good thing I like about this, so you can't utilize this volume to turn up the volume which I would have liked, but it's not bad because the fact that I have my steering wheel controls here, um, I can actually make this mode button anything. So for instance, if I want it to be muted, I can use that as a mute button if I choose to. But again, going back to my Apple CarPlay, boom. And it's quick. Pretty snappy, I love it, it's great. It's in good view, it's not blocking a lot of stuff. I mean, you're used to seeing like a lot of different things on the road and you know, it is not, I don't wanna say it's obstructing my view because this is like my driving view here. Yes, you have the display on top of the dashboard. Just something for me to get used to because usually the display that I used to have is down here or was down here. But again, I can see that corner of the thing, I can see this corner of the car, that corner of the car. And this isn't as bad. I did the one that was down here was a 10 inch. This is a nine inch. And I think that the nine inch is absolutely perfect for just where this is mounted. And it does, and you know, you have to order it with this this trim piece here. Um, and again, like I said before, just make sure that you check the year of the car. Um, but yeah, if you that that's gonna conclude this video. I'm extremely happy with this. I'm definitely keeping this in the car. Um, I love it. I'm not changing it, and it's great. But if you did like this video, Give it a thumbs up. Also, there is going to be a link for where you can buy this for your Accord to have wireless Apple CarPlay. Again, if you don't believe me, phone's still here. Wireless, have the CarPlay going with no wires at all. A much seamless, a much more seamless experience with this head unit for A-Shore. But guys, again, if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. There will be a link for this in the description down below if you are interested in purchasing it for yourself. And make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to JR14. You guys, always remember when we're installing these cool radio head units, you guys always remember that cars are a lifestyle.